Can this really be this easy and this delicious? Hmm. everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and stick around. We've got another fun, yummy recipe coming your way. So today's recipe is another Hungry Girl recipe. And I'm always asking myself, can this really be this easy and this delicious? Let's see. So today's recipe is cheesy, good chicken quesadillas. And you know I love Mexican food. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you the ingredients, which is just a small handful of ingredients. And then I will show you how to make this yummy. I'm gonna have it for lunch. So I'm gonna show you my, my yummy lunch today. Okay, so today's ingredients calls for one Ole Extreme one point wrap, one tablespoon of green onion diced, a quarter cup of shredded fat-free cheese, and wouldn't you know it, the day I decide to finally film this recipe, I don't have fat-free cheese. So today we're going to be using the light shredded mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's, and that is just going to add one extra point to this recipe. One teaspoon of fat-free yogurt, two ounces of chicken breast grilled, and today I'm taking a shortcut, I'm just using the pre-cooked chicken breast, and then one tablespoon of salsa. So I'm going to go ahead and get my onions chopped and measure out my yogurt, and then we're gonna get started. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna spray a nonstick pan with some cooking spray. And then we're going to add in our Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that in my pan. I'm telling you this recipe is super easy, so I think this is going to be a staple. If this is, is tastes as good as I think it's going to taste, this is definitely going to be a staple in our house. So I went ahead and chopped up that green onion, and I chopped up the chicken as well, just so it would be smaller pieces going through it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in. And again, we are going to end up flipping this over, so I'm just going to go ahead and place my chicken on one side. And then I'm going to place those green onions right on top. Sometimes the easy recipes are the most fun to film because there's not a lot of steps. And then if you're a beginner cook, it also helps you to see that you can make some of these things at home too. So I have one ounce of that, that cheese here, and that is one smart point. So I'm going to go ahead and place that on top. And again, this, I, I don't think I mentioned this. This entire quesadilla is only going to be two smart points. I mean, how amazing is that? So we're going to go ahead and give that a chance to start melting and heating through. And once our cheese begins to melt just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and flip that tortilla over. And I'm probably going to flip the actual tortilla itself onto the other side just so we can get a good ratio of our melty cheese goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and let that do its thing just for a minute. And... Let's see, let me know if you also make cheese quesadillas. So, and also let me know if you like Mexican food. So if you like Mexican food like I do, go ahead and put Mexican food at the bottom in our comments section, just so that I know to keep, you know, keep finding these. I know that I did the huevos rancheros recipe, I think two weeks ago, maybe a week ago. And that one I enjoyed for breakfast all week long. I think I had it three times that week. So this again will be another good one. I'm hoping that if I make this, that it'll heat really well in the microwave so that it'll be another recipe that I could go ahead and make a few of them and then take them to lunch, you know, take them to work for lunches as well. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab a spatula. Go ahead and flip that over. Oh, look at that. Can, hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? You can, look how yummy. Right, I'm going to go ahead and flip this gently as to not lose my filling. And we're going to press that down and let that cook for one more minute on that side. And then the only thing we have to do now is measure out some chips for our chips and salsa and put our sour cream and our salsa on top. So that is going to be so good. I am going to estimate my lunch to be five smart points because, again, I'm going to measure out three points of chips and enjoy this 
quesadilla. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of the pan and I will show you the final product. This is probably gonna be the shortest video I've done. So stay tuned. Okay, and here you have it, your two smart point quesadilla. When I originally pointed this recipe out, I don't know what I was thinking, but I pointed it out as two smart points, but really the only thing that had points in here in my original version would have been the wrap because had I used the fat-free cheese, it would have only been one point because the fat-free cheese is zero. But since I used the Trader Joe's cheese, it came out to be two smart points. So this is my five smart point lunch. Looks delicious, right? All right, so I'm gonna sign off from here so that I can enjoy this while it's hot. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you try to make this yourself. Again, if you want me to make more of these quick, easy Mexican foods, put Mexican foods down in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye.